Cars are getting smarter and smarter, but how much smarter are they actually getting? I'm here with Qualcomm to check out Snapdragon Digital Chassis to see how much smarter they're getting and what's in store for us in the future. To fully demonstrate what the Snapdragon Digital Chassis can currently do, I'm sat in the latest Mercedes-Benz E-Class to show you exactly that. So in front of us is the latest Mercedes-Benz user experience multimedia system. And this is powered by Snapdragon cockpit and auto connectivity platforms. And what does that actually mean for you? So in front of us, we have this immersive three display system. So a display for the passenger, a display that contains all your infotainment experience and your instrument cluster as well, which by the way, this is 3D. I know you can't see that on camera, but that looks amazing. Talking about this central display, it's nice and big. The colors are sharp. In fact, we're looking at how intuitive the system is. So we look at the map system here, even though it's all in 3D, everything's rendered very quickly and very responsive. If you go into home here, we can have a look at some of the options available. For example, we can have applications such as TikTok, Angry Birds to play games when you're parked up and just relaxing. We also have other features on here. For example, we have many cameras in the car. One camera can recognize who I am using AI and also be able to add all my settings and user profiles to make sure that my sitting position is remembered from the last time I sat in the car and every time I sit in the car. You can also have up to 16 users of this particular car. So this camera that we have here allows us to uh, also use things like WebEx for video conferencing. There's also web browsing and even Zoom calls here, which I think it's amazing. This is basically gonna be like smartphones on wheel, which I think that is the future. It doesn't stop there though. The Snapdragon cockpit platform's pre-integrated support for Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. We're featuring cars like this, which means we have better hotspots. Uh, we have things like high-speed gaming. We can even have multi-gigabit upload and download capabilities. Cars on this platform will be utilizing Snapdragon's automotive connectivity platforms as well for things like always on and always connected in-vehicle experiences. And that will provide high bandwidth pipeline that's needed for things like multimedia streaming and you even get 5G. One thing that's also powered by the Snapdragon digital chassis platform using AI is routines. With routines, you'll be able to set your own routine based on things that you do, and the car will learn your routine over time as well to make this even more immersive. As this is all about improving the user experience in the car, there's also voice assistant available in here. So for example, I can say, hey Mercedes. How may I help you? Navigate me to the local vegan restaurants. I have found multiple results. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Oliver Australia Vegan Food. I'm calculating the route for you now. Thank you. So seamless. And just like that, that's a really good example of how the Snapdragon digital chassis is powering the Mercedes-Benz user experience multimedia system. Looking into the future, next to me is the Snapdragon digital chassis concept vehicle. And with this, it encompasses what's actually possible when we bring together the whole Snapdragon digital chassis portfolio together in a vehicle like this. Let's have a look. The Snapdragon digital chassis concept vehicle brings the software-defined vehicle to life, showcasing an array of applications and services that allow consumers to extend their digital life into their vehicle. Let's talk about personalization and services. Integrated with a suite of automotive services and powered by artificial intelligence, software divine cockpits provide a natural and intuitive experience for occupants that improves over time. So when you get into the car, one of the first things you want to do is identify who's driving. And using the camera system in the car, it's able to identify myself, I start a car, and things like my seating position, the climate control, all my individual personalized settings are activated straight away. We then have things like voice assistant, which is also contextual and conversational. With this, I can ask for things like what's on my calendar today. And if, say for example, it's my wife's or partner's or my parents' birthday or anniversary, I can then ask the system to send them a card, a flower, whatever I wanna do, which is pretty smart. It just makes your life a lot more easier. It doesn't stop there though, there we have biometrics. So using the same system, it's able to identify myself for payments. So when I'm sending that card or the flower or present to someone, it's able to check for security measures to make sure that's actually me ordering those things. With interactive assistance, all individual passengers also benefit from a conversational virtual assistance that's tuned into their own specific audio zones. With this also comes immersive audio experiences for the passengers and the driver, for example. So as passenger, I'll be able to customize my listening experience so things like noise cancellation. And as a driver at the front, if I'm on a remote video call or just a voice call, for example, I can also customize my experience by making sure that the noise around the car is not affecting my phone call. So for example, if I have kids crying at the back, it's able to isolate my voice at the front to make sure that I can hear the call and they can hear me clearly. 
and then we have 5G in the car. With this, it means I can do video conferencing calls with no hiccups, and I also have this immersive display, which means I can park up and stream videos, or even game if I wanted to. Or if I've got kids at the back, it means they can remain connected to their friends by gaming online and just have a better driving experience. With the future gearing towards autonomous driving, we need to have a solid safety system, so your ADA system. With this, it just means like a vehicle like this is constantly monitoring what's going around using cameras and all kind of different technology. And with this, it means it knows what's going around there, it knows exactly where the car is, and it doesn't stop there. There's also a camera that's recording what's going on inside, stored to the cloud, so in an unfortunate situation where you have to send footage to places like your insurance, law enforcement, this will take out all the guesswork and do all that for you, which again just means it's very intuitive. Powered by the Snapdragon Digital Chassis fully scalable AI-based Snapdragon cockpit platform, not only are we able to maximize the travel experience, but it also empowers the transportation ecosystem to redefine how people live, work, and transact. What that means for you though is basically, for example, if your calendar is saying your anniversary is coming up, like I was talking about earlier, it means I can order recipes for dinner that I'm gonna cook later and actually have them dropped into my basket and dropped home by the time I get home. That is efficiency. We also have the ability to send a birthday card. Not only send it, we can also create a user stable division. So if there's a birthday coming up on your calendar, you can just ask the system to basically create and send that birthday card. This can also be a tour guide on wheels, which means when you drive into a destination, you can learn all about it before you get there and also pick up all the points of interest along the way to be fully clued up before you get there. So, as you can see, the future is bright and exciting when it comes to the Snapdragon digital chassis concept vehicle and the platform itself. So, what are you most excited about? For me, I'm particularly excited about the fact that this, as a whole, is gonna improve and enhance my driving experience in the future. 